Got that one game lead. There's Lester goes six innings, gives up just three hits, four walks and three Ks. And of course, uh, Cubs trying to close things out. You'll see the Cubs and the Brewers remaining games. Brewers red hot as well. Cubs always a big robbery with the St. Louis Cardinals right there. Cardinals still in the mix, of course. Brewers got an easier time against Detroit uh, at home. All right, you saw Lester did what he had to do tonight, so there should be no doubt uh, they should have confidence in him in a wild card game or the NLDS. But with what they have, what you saw, they're still having trouble scoring runs. Do you think they have enough to stave off the Brewers in the Central? I think they have enough to give them a steady jab. Every time the <laughs> Brewers have kept right. it close, got to one game, got to two games, the Cubs have been able to formulate some offense and win some close ball games. But I'm still concerned about their offense. It's still bias heavy. And what's going to happen is going into the postseason, Pitchers are going to mark bias and make everybody around them try yep. to beat them. Mm -hmm. So I'm really concerned. They're gonna, they might have to start playing small ball, you right. know what I mean? Especially in Wrigley, that's hard, hard to imagine. But the pitching staff has stepped up. They kept the game close. The bullpen starting to win their matchups, and it's all hands on deck. So everybody's ready and attentive. So we'll see. But I, I, I'm, I'm a little... Concerned about their offense, but they should be fine holding them off. Well, I, I think let's, I mean, let's look at it. I mean, you saw the graphic just like I did. I mean, do you trust Brewers against Detroit or do you trust the Cubs against Cardinals? And the Cardinals got a lot to play for. Yeah, now. that's what yeah. I'm saying. I mean, not only that, I know the Detroit Tigers and everybody is auditioning for next year's jobs. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. But let's think about it. The one thing the Cardinals would love to do is ruin the Cubs season. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's think about it. I mean, they've got they've got uh, Mikolas pitching. Don't get to Sunday with a tied game. They got Jack Flaherty on the mound. Well, that's he's good been, stuff. And he's been absolutely mm -hmm. nasty as of right. late. So in my mind, I think there could be a play-in game. I think that, you know, I think Milwaukee's going to take three from Detroit. And I think the Cubs are going to take two out of three. I, I just from don't Saint want Lewis. the Brew Crew. Just I love the Brew Crew, but they might be a little bit too many brews in them, especially going <laughs> up against Detroit. I don't want them to kind of, you know, you know, back up and really right. not keep the pedal to the metal. The Tigers have a lot of fighting. They want to play spoiler, yep. and this is their playoff series. They might steal a game from the Brewers. So watch out moving forward. Though so you can't overlook it. It's still a big league. Well, ball what do you club. call it? A trap game? Yes. I mean, there's no doubt mm -hmm. about that. I mean, for sure. But yeah. I feel like with where they are and what they have learned in the past. And and having Ryan Braun on that squad saying, guys, this has happened to me before. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to find ourselves in Milwaukee Brewers with the you know, central tracks. All right, Lester and Hamill's looking good. Got to get that offense on track. Got to get healthy all bats on right. deck. That we welcome in our insider, J.P. Morosi, who joined us throughout the show. And the Cubs could certainly use a healthy Chris Bryant. What's the latest on his left wrist injury? Well, good evening, Mike. Uh, the Cubs do expect Chris Bryant to be back in the lineup tomorrow. So very good news there for the Cubs after a two-day absence with that left wrist issue that he had the other day. X-rays were negative, so it's just a contusion. But, Mike, as Dontrell said, this lineup has become so reliant on Javier Baez, and this really predates this latest issue with Bryant. He missed more than a month with a left shoulder injury since he came back on September 1st. Just one home run in 84 plate appearances, 12 home runs all year for the former MVP. Mike, they need Chris Bryant to be the Chris Bryant of old if they want to advance there through the, through the NL playoffs. Yeah, they need all the offense they can mm -hmm. get right now. JP, will hit you on an interesting decision looming for the Yankees in just a moment, so stick around, man. We ain't done with you yet. <laughs> hey, speaking of the Cubs, though, a, a huge series against the Cardinals, and uh, you can catch Saturday's game on Fox. Others will see Mookie Betts, who could be the MVP of the AL, and the Red Sox take on the Yankees. It all starts at 12.30 Eastern on Fox. Then Saturday night, the Brewers continue their playoff push against the Tigers, as we just mentioned, <laughs> on FS1 and on the Fox Sports app.